Turn over to me. I'm here with the winner, Ali Buhalski. Just went out there and crushed it. First time running Mount Sac. That was just such a great performance. What are you really just feeling right now? You're the course record holder at Mount Sac for the 5.5 mile course. <laughs> I mean, I'll take the 5.5. When I heard it wasn't a full 10K, I was very happy. But I don't know. I mean, this was a last second decision to do this. It's a really tough course. Every time I talk to someone, they're yeah. like, oh, good luck. Um, but I ran with the Hansons girls for the first bit and then saw Danny take out ahead of me and so I just tried to reel her in throughout the rest of the course. So talking about the course real quick, does it live up to the hype? Does it live up to the hype of being as hard as it, as it is? It is terrifying. I mean, going up the hills, I felt like I was half walking and then down hills is really hard to just like stay tight and control myself. So that's, that's tough. <laughs> and hearing a bit, hearing about all the horror stories and everything, it looked like you kind of did take it out conservatively. Was that the plan to just really fill it out that first loop and really attack the next one? Yeah, absolutely. I was I was definitely a little nervous going into it, just being a over distance race for me. Yeah. And with all the hills, we we try to take it out conservatively and then kind of get a lay of the land and then start pushing. <laughs> well, you most most definitely did crush it. I know you're Brooks Beast, but also you were you were repping Hansons today. You're repping Hansons. Yeah. And it, <laughs> so how did it feel to just rep with the new team Hansons as they're gonna come in for an interview as well? How was it was to rep with them as well? Yeah, they're great. I actually called their coach when I decided to come down and was like, hey, can I get a ride and like just be an honorary Hansons for the week? So it's a really great group of girls and I liked being like kind of part of a team, even though it's a different kit, I still yeah, feel yeah, yeah. very much a part of them. Yeah, that's all good. But we're going to get the, the Hansons to come on as well real quick. We got Amy, Olivia Pratt and everything. <laughs> but Olivia, starting with you first, like you guys really packed it up real good. We saw you on the back here going down the switchbacks on the first loop. Was that really the plan to go out conservatively and just fill it out the first one, then move up as you do? Yeah, 100%. We were told in no uncertain terms that we were to run together for 20 minutes. Whoever was like feeling the weakest link that day, we had to pay attention to them, make sure we all stayed together as a group. So we were actually like talking to each other a lot and communicating with each other. And I think, um, you know, a lot of us are pretty inexperienced with racing 10K on the cross country course. We raced 6K in college. So this is really good practice for like, f you know, f learning a longer distance on the cross country course. And yeah. I think packing up early really helped us like perform that, you know. Well, y'all really did kill it as a team, especially with Ali as well. Then you and Ann, like, you guys were teaming up as well in the Chicago Marathon. Did you feel like back at – oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How did it feel to just – you guys had those such those flat courses in Chicago now to do this, uh, this such a hilly course. How did it feel that difference? I mean, we had Chicago, but we've also had the last four years together. So I think that has played a huge role in just having, like, such a consistent training partner this whole time. Um, so really, this was no stranger to us today. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we've been we've been through it all. <laughs> so, yeah. Then I have to ask you two as well. Like, just I asked Adley, but did the horror stories of Mount Sac live up to the hype? Did it live up to the hype? Should people come out here and do this next year if there isn't if it's going on? But like, I bet it was a fun race. I think it does live up to the hype. I was a little more scared yesterday when we were pre-running it, but then today, like everybody's saying, like because we ran together, it was way less nerve-wracking. Yeah. But the hills, we don't have any of those in the Midwest <laughs> like that. It's different. That's different. It's that California cross country. How did it feel for you? Yeah, I mean, it's a great course. It's definitely for grinders out there, so it definitely lives up to the name. But uh, it's great to be here. It's definitely an historic course, and I've never ran here in high school or college, so it's great to be here and take a shot at it. Yeah, y'all need to come out next year, bro, because Hanson, they got the crown right now. They got the record holder and everything. Y'all need to come out next year for sure, for sure. Back to you and Jeff and Colleen.